Hi, I'm Chelsea, and today I'm going to walk through a proof in which I show that two triangles are congruent. So in uh, this video, um, I plan on showing you how to set up a proper uh, two-column proof as well as use um, a very important um, postulate for proving that triangles are congruent. So to begin, let's look at the figure and see what is given and what we would like to prove. So in this case, I have drawn this figure, and notice how we have um, here a triangle AEB and a triangle CED, okay? And what we are given is that the first point is that E is the midpoint of the segment BED, which runs from here to there. We are also given that the line segment AE is congruent to line segment EC. And what we would like to prove is that triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CED. Now, before we begin writing out this proof in the, a two-column proof, what I often like to do is actually just examine my figure and maybe write down some notes to see where I may go for this proof. Okay, so I'm just going to look at my given and see what that tells me. So first, E is the midpoint of BD. So if this is BD, E being the midpoint means that it's BD can be split up into two congruent line segments. So here we have uh, the line segment BE is congruent to ED. And that would be a definition of um, a midpoint. We're also given that AE is congruent to EC. Okay. And that just comes from being given. Right? Now, looking at my figure, I see something else that could be very useful, and that's that I have vertical angles here. Well, we know that vertical angles are congruent as well. And now this figure is looking very nice um, in order to prove that those two triangles are congruent, because notice what we have is we have two sides, two corresponding sides are congruent. Um, so we have EC and AE, and the corresponding sides BE and ED. And then in between them, what those two sides make up, those angles are congruent as well. This means that we have two sides and an angle. So what we will probably use is the side angle side uh, postulate to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Now that we have kind of a plan of what we're going to do, let's start writing down these statements that we need um, to come to that conclusion. So the first thing, I always like to start with the given. Um, so it's given that AE is congruent to EC. And my reason for writing that down again is that it is given. Okay. So there's my one side. Uh, the next thing I believe I'll write down is that angle CED is congruent okay, uh, to angle AEB. All right, and the reason for that is vertical angles okay, are congruent. There's our angle. Uh, the third thing will be that the line segment BE is congruent to the line segment ED. Right. The reason for that, again, we got that from the definition of E being a midpoint of BD. And there's our other side. So we have side angle side. And finally, our last step um, we can write is actually what we want to prove at the triangle side. That the triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CED. 
And that is by the side angle side posture. And that's it. For more information, please visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com. The link is in the description box below. Thank you.